There's a way to make great income on Etsy by selling digital art products, but you do not have to be a super talented artist in order to do so because AI has got your back here by prompting midjourney.com to do the creative work for you. Let's see how it works. According to similarweb.com, Etsy is the global marketplace for selling creative goods. Look at its annual revenue and its total visits in the last month, as well as the top countries that send the most traffic to Etsy.com lately. And setting up a store on Etsy is a pretty easy process done in a matter of minutes. If you're interested in selling physical products on Etsy, there's a way you can link your Etsy store to a print provider such as Printify.com and they will deal with making the product, printing it, packing it and shipping it and dealing with the customer service questions. So they'll take a lot of workload from you. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about digital products. So shipping, storage and material costs are not your concern here. And that's a great advantage to it. OK, so according to litcommerce.com, these are the 30 best digital products to sell on Etsy ebooks, wallpapers, calendars, invitations, printable planners. But when I go to Etsy.com and I type in printable planner, this is the number of the results I get. So as you can see, the market is pretty saturated with these one size fits all printable and downloadable products. So it will take you some skill to actually stand out among these. And for example, for number one, ebooks, you do need time and some creativity to make a really good ebook template and even if you do stand out when you look at the price it's actually not that profitable now it is possible to sell these items on etsy and get that income going for you but it does take time and it does take some creativity to stand out to really stand out because this market is saturated with these downloadable digital art products so a more profitable road to take is to sell customized and personalized items. So not a one size fits all weekly or monthly planner, but something that is really unique. Now, wedding invitations are something that is um, sold to be customized because, of course, the names of the partners are always changed once they download this. But I'm not talking about that. When you go to Etsy.com and you click on art and collectibles, if you sort out the results by top customer reviews, you will find a lot of these unique items for sale. Now, take a look at this seller here. It's called Design My Dog, and he makes a custom portrait of people's pets. All the customers need to do is provide them with a photo or for example this seller right here forever by dave who sells custom watercolor couple portraits and family portraits such as this one or this royal pet portrait as you can see these items are priced a bit higher than a one size fits all weekly planner or a calendar you can download and this artist as well who makes custom anime portraits now i'm going to try and make something similar using an ai tool midjourney.com when you go to midjourney.com you simply click on join the beta and you will be directed to their discord when you get to their discord Discord, simply join one of these newcomer rooms, Newbies 5, and here you can see what other people are doing with it and what their prompts look like. So people simply prompt mid-journey and they get their photo results in a matter of less than 60 seconds. All of this was done by artificial intelligence. Okay, so I'm going to try and see what this tool can do. Uh, what can it actually imagine by typing slash imagine? Now, it can be a bit chaotic to find your way here in this newbie's room because everyone is sending commands like crazy. But this is what AI came up with after I typed in green hospital, horror image, highly detailed HD 4K octane render. Wow, it is um, beautiful, but also scary when you think about the extent of AI in digital art. 
And they actually made a pretty good decision to put all the newbies in one room because you can use other people's prompts and their commands to your advantage because if you don't understand how prompting AI works, you can simply copy their commands and use it just to see what works for you. And before using Midjourney uh, and to really understand the extent uh, to which it can go, I would do more research on it and find the exact commands that will deliver you the best results. Now, to check out if uh, this AI can do something similar as what we have seen people do on Etsy, I'm going to send a picture of a couple. Right after you send it, um, make sure to be fast and find it in this uh, conversation because it will get lost. And you click on it and then you open it in browser. You simply copy image address. And again, you go with the prompt slash imagine. You paste the link and you put a comma. And then you write your prompt. So I wanted this couple to be uh, like cartoon characters and the background to be a pink candy land. And these are the four results I got. It is just amazing. Now, if I did not like what I'm seeing or I just like one of them, I can simply take one of the results I got and prompt AI to make it more detailed or to make it uh, more by my own wishes and my own command and to just keep working on it until when I'm satisfied with it, I can just download it and make a listing for it on Etsy. Be sure to check out what other people do. We're all newbies here and copying someone else's prompt for something is not a sin. You're not doing anything bad. As you can see, these commands right here or here, looking at what other people do with it can only help you and you can do your own research more online. I'm going to try and do something simple with a picture of a cat. Again, I send the image, I open it in browser and I copy its address and I go again with the prompt slash imagine. Okay, so I wanted this image of a cat um, and I... I did not want to make uh, this pet look like a monarch like that artist did on Etsy. I wanted it to look like a superhero in a colorful uh, universe and these are the results I got. Again, I can use any of them uh, to prompt AI to uh, work more on it and I even made a spelling mistake here and AI understood what I was thinking of and it is just amazing. Now there's a thing to keep in mind. These artists who sell uh, royal pet portraits or custom watercolor couple portraits or custom digital pet portraits and anime portraits on Etsy have been in this business for for long enough to build a name from themselves and what they do. They're very talented artists who simply keep their customers satisfied by delivering highly detailed portraits and replicating what they do even with AI is a bad road to take because they are years ahead of you. When you offer the same service as they do, people will always go for the one who is rated uh, as top by the customers and who actually does this by hand. So I would strongly advise you not to compete with them because they're simply experts at what they do. And it is a non-profitable idea and let's face it, an immoral idea to do. But if you can come up with something as personalized and as customized as these real artists here, you can use AI to your advantage and offer a listing for something that is not yet seen and not yet offered on Etsy and attract customers just as they do. So I believe it's worth thinking about what is that unique thing that you can offer on your Etsy store because AI is here to do the creative work for you and Etsy is there for you to help you sell it. The only thing you need to do is to think of a unique item to offer. I believe it's worth taking a shot. Thanks for watching.